Hello everybody, I am Laura the Librarian and welcome to New Book Tuesday at the Monroe Public Library. Today we'll take a look at some of the books that came out in the first week of November. We'll start with a graphic novel. This is Lore Olympus Volume 1 by Rachel Smythe, which is an extremely popular webcomic and I know a lot of people have been waiting for the book and it is beautiful. Let me tell you, get on the hold list for this one, absolutely. Uh, partially written before her death and then finished by a friend. Um, this is Rachel Held Evans' final book, Wholehearted Faith. A new book from Mitch Album. If you were a fan of the Five People You Meet in Heaven books, you will love this one, The Stranger in the Lifeboat. I love Gary Steingart. He has just this incredible voice and he uses a lot of satire and dark humor. Um, this is his book, Our Country Friends, which a lot of people are already calling the definitive novel of the pandemic. Uh, a group of friends out on vacation end up having to spend far more time with each other than they anticipated. U.M. Akpan, author of Say You're One of Them, is finally back with more fiction. This is New York, My Village, and it is a little bit of a send-up of the publishing industry. Plus, there's a parallel of being a minority within the bustling world of New York City, um, as well as um, being a minority in the Biafran War, which the main character was. Sounds fascinating, a little bit funny, a little bit sad. Should be a good one. One of my favorite actors, funny people, Cal Penn, has written a little memoir about his life both as an actor and as a White House aide, which he did during the Obama administration. Uh, this is, you can't be serious. This one looks absolutely fascinating. It's The Correspondence by Judith McCrell, and it's all about six different women who were journalists during World War II. Uh, it talks about their lives and also talks about their work. Everything you ever wanted to know about volcanoes and the hot underworld of the Earth. This is Super Volcanoes by Robin George Andrews. A story from the 1980s about a young lawyer who fought for family farmers in North Dakota, eventually taking a class action suit extremely far in order to uh, preserve their constitutional rights. Sounds super fascinating and like it has a lot to say about family farming and, and the economy and how, how that was working in the 80s and how it's going now. Thanks for taking a look at these new books with me. Hope you found something great to read. Give us a call or get in touch if we can help you find something good. Have a good one. Bye.